yeah, we're gonna continue on keep building um, this project. This is a Swift for beginners, so I will try to explain things the better I understand and as much as possible. So if you're already in advanced Swift, I mean, this video will take a long time, so you'll probably find something out there differently. But if you're just learning Swift and you wanna go step by step, I try to explain things. So this is the second part. And last time we left it right here. We just created this um, table view with a few cells and an array. As right now, we're not using um, any API or third party like Firebase. Probably we will end up using it later on. But first, I just want to focus a lot on the UI part of it. So people could start understanding the UI and then we could start getting into more business logic and things like that. So if we run this, yeah, this is what we should get. I remember um, I was trying to change the navigation bar color. And let me see, we're oh, this in delegate right here. So I don't remember if you were in the last video. So I don't remember if I was trying to change it here. But I think the place to change is here, the app appearance background. This is in case you want to change it, you know, go UI color. Like I said, try to use, um, just use system gray. I try to use um, UI color for, just because it's good for you to get into the habit and know what um, color is part of, you know, so a color is a uh, part of UI color. So when you're really beginner, it's good. I mean, I could just do this or if I remove this, it still works, it's the same thing. You see this change or I could do like, if I delete everything, I go to red, still work. But if you're really a beginner, it's good for you to get into the habit of using UI color. So you know what, what type of object it is. Okay, let's put a green. Because every color is part of an enum an enumeration and like I said if you right click here and you write color and you show quick help it will say use color to customize app appearance and it's good like I said for you to understand the documentation you will click there and read about this property or anything see an object that stored colors data sometimes opacity opacity is like um you know when you see this like black kind of transparent so opacity just uh, the amount of darkness that you want in the color um, I wouldn't say like if it's um or how um how transparent you want it to be and things like that we'll probably use something later on and I'll show you better in details than just words sometimes when I record a video I forget so basically, if you wanted to change the background color, you could do it there. But uh, yeah, let's do something. Here. Let me just bring back. Like I said, if you do Command C, um, like you saw, I delete, I delete, like I deleted this. I want this. But if you do use Command C, you could go back and see. You see, Command C. So let's try to yeah, let's do this. White color. Let's open. You like white, alpha. So we do two 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 just do zero point eighty and let's do like zero point let's see what happens here. Let's first see if I get like a little more grayish navigation. You see this alpha is how like I could just put one. That takes a flow. But um you go from zero to one, how clear you want it to be, you see? Like now, like you could not see like as earlier in the back. Could do that, or you could do. If I do ninety, it'll be more gray. If I go from like zero, it'll be black, and then you go if you put like zero, zero point one, two, three, or whatever, ten, twenty, forty, fifty, it'll go from like from dark black to like uh, more grayish. And if you put one and one, it'll be white. See. So you could play around with this. You could put like zero. Okay, if I put, let me see if I put 50, it'll be kind of dark. Excuse me. See, it'll be kind of dark. So leave it, let's leave it at 90 and let's move on. That's in case you want to change that, um, the, the navigation background color. If you don't, just delete this line and 
you'll be all set. So what I said that I wanted to do in this video is add objects. So let's create an object of contacts, right? Let's create an object of contacts for these homies right here. These are my homies, you know. And that's happening inside this contact view controller. You see, I have an array of strings, right? Strings means that it has to be inside these quotes. Like whenever you see in programming something inside quotes like this, it could be blah blah blah. That's a string. If you use like if you use that, it's an int. Or if you see 5.0, it could be a double or a float. So I explained that before. So this. And we should see things inside those two um, square brackets or whatever it is. This an array. In Swift, it's an array. In most programming language, you understand that's an array. So right here, when I'm declaring bar context equals an array, right? An array of strings. And this is saying an empty array. So we could do here. We could add another homie of mine. Say, you see, like if I put five, you know, X code, like I said before, is going to yell at you. You already know this. So we have to be like comma, which is another, you have to separate it because it's an array. So each of this is a different um, item inside the array. So we could put like recito, that's my homie. And then if, so if you guessed it, I should have another one at the very bottom. And like that, we still have the same image, avatar image for every, of, every one of them. Also, you see the little red, um, border and does all that is inside a contact cell, right? So this, as I said before, we're doing everything programmatically. So let's create another group or another folder and let's call it models. Models are the object that we're going to create. So if we click here and then new, and then this time instead of using Coco touch class, we're going to use Swift file. So we get an empty file. And then here we can name it. Let's name it contact. Boom, we have this, right? So what we do here, we create a struct, right? Let's create a struct um, contact. Make sure it's the same name as here as there. Then open and close parentheses. So basically it's an object. Right, so here is like where we're gonna be constructing, and then in the contact object, we're gonna be using what do we want? Okay, let's put on let avatar image right equal a string. Why we want the string because we want the name of the image, and let's have an option in case that doesn't have it. So, what we want, and we want an image. And the name of the image is what's going to get the image from the assets folder or that somewhere in the internet is gonna get the URL and then boom, it's gonna be here. So also we want let um, name, no, just name or username, let's put name. Let name the string because the name is a string or a number. And let me see, should I add? Um, yeah, you could put like, um, if it's contact, should we add a phone number or email? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because let's put like a, a contact. Okay, yeah, we could do a person object. Oh, yeah, let's leave it as contact. I mean, we could, if you want to put a person object, we could just change this to, I mean, we could leave it like that. But if you want to be clear how you name things, so if it is going to be a person object, and right now it says contact, if you right click and you'll be like refactor, rename. And then I'll be like, um, person, you see it'll change here, but it will also change it right here. Like when you click rename right here, boom, it changes here. So if we, we create a person object, so okay, okay, let the name, the avatar, I mean, you could put like let H the, right? And then the post string, this thing is optional that it could be empty, that you will declare the age or the name or whatever it is later on. It could be age. And you could just keep adding more things that a person has. What is it? You could put like let eyes color. Boom, and you'd be like string. Or you could be like, oh, it could be like UI color, and then 
you put it optional as well blah 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 you see you could do a bunch of stuff but let's go back to content and as we get we're gonna keep doing more and more objects you're gonna be more familiar so let's go back to context to this change and let's remove this too just as le let's leave these two so um okay how, what can we do with what right well what can what can we do with an object like i said like everything like it's an object like if you go on the feed for instagram facebook or any social media that you have or you have had in the past or uber or whatever an order an uber is an as an object a feed a post right when you're posting something you're creating an object you add an image you add a caption etc etc that's an object um everything most likely yeah your contacts on your phone are objects of contacts like i was saying here um even like when you get an email every every email is a contact i mean it's an object sorry it's an object so it's an email object which have a bunch of different features even like if if i actually do like struct right car car is an object the book could be like let color you anyway, color they will like let model whatever string etc that's an example the car right it's an object so a car has that it could be like four wheels blah 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 you keep adding all the properties that a car has so what can we do with this now let's go to the contact here and we're going to let's comment this right to comment this is command right if you put it here you could put it here you said you could put it here at the beginning or at the end or even right here in the middle and you press command and then the slash forward or where the um, question mark key is boom and you'll comment this into a comment same thing so let's comment this right so if we run this right now we get nothing i mean we should get nothing right nothing because there's not strength in this array so we're going to change this array for a contact so now what this is saying hey we have a contact array yeah this is gonna yell i'll tell you why later so we have a contact array of contacts so what is saying hey this array will have a list of contacts right so and if you don't get it i'll show you but it's like similar to this but instead of having this you have like an object so let me see let's okay let's go right here let's say contacts right equals open close brackets let's do this right here like put it in the middle and let's go do so we get some space right so we could do this we could still do it like this and it's fine we could be like contact right this contact right here that we created open brackets and you could see hey contact as an avatar image um let's go to where is it where is the cells let's get the network no that's where's the cell over here let's get the name of the image this image mm, 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 mm. okay and i know this won't work but i'm gonna put it and i'll tell you why oh let me see yeah it'll work i'll show you how i just I, I was thinking two different ways how to do it but if we wanted to do it more dynamically this will be fine this will do it and who, who should we name this let's put this mm. let's put this john snow <laughs> i was watching um game of thrones today not too long ago so let's see what happens now right you already seen that esco is yelling at you right here like hey i don't find this what is going on right because what are they saying like no subscript candidate produce spec contextual results type of string no exact matches in the cost of string so basically what this is saying hey this object right here is not the same as this one if you will right click here and we got to jump to definition it will bring you to here or you could just call it a contact like if you come here and you want to contact 
Why? Because you're seeing like, hey, contacts is a string. It's not an object. That's basically what it's saying. So how can we fix this, right? Simple. Let's go. Uh, let's make this a contact. Contacts e equal in a, a an object of contact, right? So now they're the same. And okay, why this is jelly now, Shannon? What's going on? So basically saying, hey, contacts. How? See, cannot assign value of type contact of type of string. So what is saying, hey, this object cannot be a type of string. It's two different objects, right? This is a string. There's an object. Two different properties. But if you here, we will like contact dot name. Boom. What happened? This should go away. Let's see if I'm right or wrong. You see, because this name returns a string. You see, boom, and you say, okay, the image, this is working. No, it ain't. It just, it's because it's hard coded here. And I'm gonna show you how to fix this. So let's comment this. If I comment this, we shouldn't get, no, we shouldn't get an image. Right, we get nothing. We just get a little circle because we have, st we, ha we still have the corner radius and the border. So just create a, a border, the, the image empty there. So how can we, how can we display the image? This is gonna make it easier because now when you have a thousand poles or a thousand contacts or a thousand whatever objects, right? You don't have to just keep adding a new avatar image for every one of them. It'll be dynamically, especially if you get it from the internet. So we could be here, avatar image, we say, right? Dot image equal UI image, right? This one right here, open. And you would like to start typing name, my bad name this name right here and you take a stream so we're like okay so what we're gonna do copy this and add it here no now we're gonna say contact uh oh contact the avatar image so basically what this is saying hey okay what is saying oh you could not unwrap you see because it's optional so i could like help you here fix it i could be like oh it could be blank i could do that or I could be like, hey, do it like this. But let's unwrap this. When you have an, an optional value, like um, we could just, you, we could say like let avatar image, or let's let image, f that, image equal avatar, no, nope, contact the avatar image. And right here you say, oh, avatar image is an optional, right, and name, shouldn't be an optional because that's why s code was yelling so if we say we could say if right let avatar image equal the boom so what we do going to do let's copy this command x to cut command v to paste and then we could add this image i'll explain what i'm doing right now boom and this shouldn't yell right now you see no problem so basically what this is saying right now is if this contact avatar image is not nail, it's not empty, basically it has something that is not blank, set it, right? Declare it as this name. So basically, if we let image equal to this, so if this is not nail, this, we created this property, and then we could run this. If this is empty, and I will try it for other contacts, you won't get an image. I'll show you a very simple of what I'm doing. Also, you, we could do this like guard, something similar to guard led image equal contact the avatar image else return, which is what we're seeing um, in the scene delegate right here at the beginning. We could do that too. It's basically the same thing. What happens is if you use this, right? You could use this and then you it don't have to be inside a parenthesis. You could just do like um like if I comment this uh -oh, and I comment this, it will still work, right? But what this is saying, hey, if it, um if it, this is not if it, this is empty, just return. So don't do nothing else besides that. Let's say you have more code right here, more code right here. But if it, this image doesn't have anything boom you're gone like not none of the code below is going to be executed unless it has something but what we're doing here is like um what we're doing here hey if this is if this has an image this contact 
has an avatar image, set it to this. Otherwise, just keep running whatever is running. So they say, hey, if this has an image, boom, do it. If it and still run whatever is here and whatever is whatever is there, blah, blah, blah. This will do it anyways. So sometimes it's good to do this, sometimes used to use Gar. As we keep running and building more, we'll see um, more examples and where we want to use Gar and when we're not going to use it. So let's run this and see what happens. If we get the avatar image, you go, jump snow. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, let me go back to a different name. Oh. Yeah, you see this content? We don't have to come back unless we want to keep adding more property like age or, I don't know, date or whatever, phone number, we'll see email, whatever you want to add. So we can just close this so it's a little bit more clear. This cell right here, we don't have to keep, we don't have to come back unless we keep adding more properties to it, like another, we could be date, another label, sub label, whatever. So we could close this and we're going to be working only with this one right now. So. Mm. So earlier I said to have it like this because it's much clear. If you add a comma here, right? You could add another contact. Then open. You have to op remember open parenthesis and boom, you click and you see here. Or even if you if you start writing it, it's gonna show up. And then avatar, I'm gonna leave that up. And then push gender and name. I'm just be gonna be like Shailen instead. Let's see what happens. Oh, you know why this is yelling? Take a guess. Okay, don't go crazy. I forgot to uh, to close the, it, this needs to be inside parentheses. See, a comma here, because if I move the comma, if you're saying like, hey, we don't know what's going on here. So when you put comma, this is saying, hey, this is one contact, there's another one. And then you just keep, it, you could keep adding more and more and more manually, but later on, I might show you a way how to do it dynamically that you don't have to keep adding like every single time. But that's gonna be way later on. I'm trying to just go with the basics right now. You see, we don't have an avatar image, so let's go to the internet. Oh, let me see if I have it. Uh, what's, let me check here, maybe I have, not then. Oh, uh, oh, this is contact, I don't want that. No, this is better. La, 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 la. See if I have, if I have any cool image. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't have any cool image. Let me just go. I could do this because I have two monitors, so that's why I have dual monitor. Um, let me see. Avatar icons and image and something I try to do. Uh, let's go to let's use rights, create a more common license so we don't get in trouble. Who should we get? Uh uh. This looks like a cool dude. Uh, let's get this one. Should get like a, a 2K avatar. Save image as. Let's put avatar 2. You could name it whatever you want. I'm just trying to put it inside download folder. I'm just trying to get um, easy names. And then let's get a, let me see if I see a nice cool female avatar. Graduation. see what happened mm, damn we're let's look at this one this one looks like a bossy type female avatar okay let's close this and what I'm doing I'm gonna let me open this I got this to avatar like I said you could just come and you, you see to select multiple, you um, shift. Remember, this is like selecting a new shift, and you select one. And you see, so I select this two shift, and then you just drag, click, click right here. Boom! You got two more. So now we got three avatar in your assets folder. 
here is still where you add the um, icons um you see the icon that you see on your app let me see like like this icon right here down one down one down one or whatever it is that's what you put it here so maybe we'll do that later but you'll have to buy like, programs and stuff like that but I'll show you that I mean this I think online you could also do it but that's a whole different subject I'm trying to learn let's learn, learn the basics first so um okay let's get cool about side soon this guy copy the name I'm gonna put it here right and as you see now the name should change I mean the avatar image should have different one for each of them so let's see what happens boom you see it kind of looks a little weird oh okay good thing because let's go back to our contact cell and let's be like look at the image and be like ib dot let me see content yeah content mode equal to click and then aspect let's put aspect to fit and see you have um scale aspects um to fill but let's play around with this a little bit you'll see the difference you see how the image looks nicer you could also do like fill this different aspirations ratios see how this one's like fill and if you put scale aspects of what mm. bottom level re you see we draw scale to fill scale to fill blah 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 let's see this, this and see what this does most of the time you only use some scale um, to fit or to fill depend I mean you could play with it depending on the image that you have so we get scale to fit let's leave it there remember IB content mode that you can see here you can read it this is part of a we see case it's part of an enum the option to scale the content or fit the size view maintain the aspect ratio by I mean any remaining area withdraw so basically this is just redrawing the image to a better to something that fits right the size of the image view you see it just looks nice good looking good looking okay so let's see maybe we don't have to come back here or there or here oh yeah let's add the third one and that's it so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna copy try to try to write it instead i'm copy and paste it but if you could write it i mean you could get into the habit let me just write it f that yeah another thing don't get make sure that this is capital because if i if i do like contact you'll be like what well, is i'm trying to open it this is not running make sure that this is this which is this right here c o n t a c t with a capital C make sure of that so you don't get the error make sure it's the same so when you like try to have contact even when you select them from here make sure it's the contact and right here it says contact because if you select here it says contact it shows an array but here it says oh contact is an object so make sure you contact oh, boom let me see I think it's a female avatar and then let's call her who Mm -hmm. Mariana. Yeah, I should have to so be like Sofia Mariana. You see how I just keep adding more and more? So that part. I hope you get that part of creating an object. Let me go. So what we did here, we went to Swift. I mean we created a new folder, right? Right here. Create a new group, which is a new folder and then we name it models the models we're going to create a new file and we created a swift file and we named it contact this contact we create a struct of contact so we create a struct name the contacts open and close parenthesis we create only two properties as right now which is the avatar image and the name we could add as many as we want just we we could not have like let name the string because it's gonna yell at you because it will know hey what do you mean two name but you could be like if he has a middle name you could be like hey m name right middle name or you could be like middle name or whatever or if it's um you could be like f name 
oh name was it a first name last name or you could use last name first name etc but right now leave this as is because if you put f name and i try to build it's gonna give me an error s code is gonna yell you can see right here it's yelling what's going on right right here's yelling hey it'll tell you here how to fix it right You're like oh we don't get this and then you have to do this f name so if you rename that over there you're gonna get this and then what you're gonna incorrect argument label have an avatar image expected avatar image f name replace name with f name you see so you could just add the f name here if you want but here here and then you'll be fine to run so this right here needs to be the same if you change it here you gotta change it in the object but let's leave it as name i don't want where is it okay yeah that one yeah let's leave it as name and then now let's create let's create another let me see mm. oh, let's create another group should i create another group or add on the control no. never mind i'm just adding the controller <coughs> sorry so let's create a we could do this and then you be like UI tab bar controller let's do it and then you let's do like um, main tab bar controller boom and we created this which we you could delete all this we don't need it and right here so basically a tab bar it's like you see like um okay let's this this yeah this this at the bottom is a tab bar let me see do they okay it looks too white but at the top this navigation bar and this right here where you see other things um it's a tab bar i'll show you yeah because they don't look super white whatever you will see now so what do we want to do here so a tab bar is like um on your app you know when you have like to post your messages your profile at the very bottom right like right here you have a navigation bar and then here you have a tab bar so what can we do with a tab bar um let's first of all copy this name right command c let's go to the scene delegate and let's add it to this right here let's replace this and let's see what happened instead of contact you can be main tab bar or you could just write it like main tab bar controller so whatever is easier for you and whatever works for you that helps you remember what's going on so you see boom here here is black because we're not calling the contact controller anywhere but this is okay you already know this and this right here so what do we want to do now so say the main tab bar let's create a function create some space let's call it private function set up controllers let's call it why do i set a private means that we are n from nowhere else you could have access to the to this function right here i'll show you an example sometime later on but remember like only inside this file inside this like right here i could not have access to the functions which i'll show you later so let's call the function remember when you write a function always remember to call it so you don't make that mistake if you don't call out the function if you don't call it doesn't matter what you do here nothing's gonna happen let's clean up here a little bit so it looks better so when if you don't I mean it doesn't have to be private if you want you could just leave it like this but later on I w I'm just trying to show you like little things as I I work that way you'll be like okay I might not understand this but you understand it later on because as we keep building building and building more and more we're gonna have access to some functions and you'll see why some one are good to be private and some one are not good to be private same thing when we declare properties private like private i'm not gonna go crazy like this one private let this cell cannot be 
access from anywhere and later on you'll see why I'll show you why so inside this function mm, okay what do we want to create also if you would do this right now like view controllers right equals an array because it's controllers and if you see this view controller is an array of view controllers you see a UI view controllers inside of this an array of rule view controller display at the top bar interface so what we're going to do here oh yeah we have two so let's put this one or oh, this color purple this is great so let's put two over like view controller and you see always remember open and close parenthesis there I'm gonna show you a different way, but let's do it right, like this right now, and then contact view controller. I'm gonna close parenthesis there. Let's see what happens. Boom. Okay, you have the color purple, but nothing showing at the bottom. What's up? It should show two view controller, not one. So I gotta see why. This one, I guess. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, but this is not showing that top bar at the bottom. This is new. Also, it's not even showing that top bar controller. Let me try something. I think I. Where's the scene delegate? Let's make a scene delegate. Okay, I know why. I know what's going on. This should be here and we are gonna have to make some changes here so let's come in this code right now i remember this needs to be 100 percent the rule view controller and then right this is the main tab bar controller where is it where am i <clears throat> good then why this is not is this is a ui tab bar controller let me call that you i think you call it UI controller delegate. Oh, tab bar controller delegate and then self dot delegate. Oh, could just be like self. So I'll explain you, I'll explain to you in a bit what I'm trying to do. This is super weird why the UI tab bar controller is not working. Let me see, I'm being called the build controller, I'm setting it to this, blah, blah, blah. But nothing is happening. Okay, let me see right now how I haven't done this part in a while, so it's good. Let me just, um, let me copy this. I'm gonna copy, let me cut it. Let me cut it because we wanted it here anyways. So this should be like this. And then if I come here, I wanna try something, right? Copy this and put it here and then like nav controller. This, and then here, because we already call this, we don't need to call the parenthesis. We could use the name like this. Whenever we use the parentheses when we call the name of the function like this you know but when you already declare it you could just call the name of the function I mean the name of the property I'm just thinking okay why the top bar is not showing at the bottom here when it should mm -mm -mm. let me see why this is not happening Trying to see and trying to look. This is gonna be a fun. I don't, and I don't want to spend a lot of time on this. I don't like editing the video either. Where is in that guy? I mean, this is the main tab bar, which it should give me a tab bar. 
and this record this video I'm just recording them as I go I'm not I'm not like um pre-recording or pre-writing it and then boom I'm just jumping into issues and see what happens mm -hmm. My view controller, not experience, and this should be working, and it's not. Hold on, let me try to do. Let me try to do something. View will appear. No. I'll explain to you. Animated, right? So I'm gonna tap bar dot. Ten. Oh. Call it black. Top bar. Mm. Oh, let me see title, right? Mm. Wanted to give. Let me see. Hold on. Let me see first if it is giving me that. There. I know this needs to have the title and all that. Mm. Let me. Okay. Nav controller tab bar item the title equal let's call it home one home okay see you see it just like is being purple tell me I'm gonna have to do the okay I think I know why I was going on god it's good that like basically the same thing that was happening with the okay let me pull it. Uh... okay la 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 I'm going no, let me just write this Let me create a function, let's call it template. I'm gonna split it. Nav controller. And let's have it let's have this function have an image of UI image. A title of type of string in a rule view controller. What type of UI view controller is equal to controllers, right? Into return, basically what I'm doing here is return a UI navigation controller. So basically what I'm doing here, let me just clean this up. I'm creating a function named template nav controller that takes an image as a as a okay yeah it is supposed to have common with that that takes an image as a parameter right so this is a good thing to learn a little bit more about functions if you don't know it takes an image as a parameter it takes a title and it takes a root view controller of type of ui view controller and returns a navigation controller so here what we could do this we can do this we could copy all this right boom and we could just be like return um, nav controller. So instead of writing all this, right? I'm gonna show you how it's gonna be. And then we could just with this Ruby controller, we could just init right here. Boom. So basically, what we're doing here, basically, we're setting up the navigation stack. Right, um, the appearance, the home, and we could also do nav controller the tab bar item dot image equal to image. So basically, these are the images that show. Like you see the title in the tab bar to remove this and add title because we want it to be more dynamically. Like right here, see. So if we add an image later on, you'll see that we that is gonna have an image, and then here. 
uh, we could just be like left um, view controller because that's what, what we're using controller equal of template right you see this function start a template it has an image we could be like UI image and if you do like this it's gonna happen it's it just happen an empty image it's passing an empty image and it won't have any problem because this is an, um, not an option so in title we could be okay home and rule view controller we will have view controller you see here then boom we copy this and we go here basically we could copy this copy and paste it and but you gotta change the name for you copy this right paste it here and be like and be like contact view controller and you could copy this and add it here so you don't have any problem and here we could do contact let's see what happened with this now okay you see we have to we have one here you see it switched back and forward now because the same problem that is happening there was happening here remember with the navigation a previous video that's what's happening here with the um tab bar so okay we're gonna have to create another yeah, tab appearance equal ui tab bar appearance and then tab appearance dot configure with a pink background and then we could also do here nav controller dot tab bar dot standard appearance equal to tab bar appearance and nav controller dot tab bar item dot scroll right equal to tab appearance let's see i think this will fix it it should fix it boom you see boom is that's what it happened that's why we like earlier we wasn't seeing anything so i was here trying to um okay this function view we appear you see here this will view the low so this saying like hey once this view like this view basically the tab bar view is loaded call this function and set the delegates delegates mean like hey um it's like when you send somebody to delegate for you like if you wanna um add some function uh, have somebody to basically discuss something for you and give you the result that you want i don't know if it does the right analogy it's like when you send a lawyer to the court for you to delegate for you like hey this and that and i want that but I don't think we're gonna need this. It's like I, uh, as I was thinking of different solutions, um, I thought about it. Like, hey, what if um, we're not using any other delegation as right now? We're gonna be using it later for sure. So you're gonna see me putting this back again. So if you wanna delete it or you wanna keep it, up to you. So um, this view will appear function, right? This telling the view, hey when this view is going to appear do this like hey i want you to call a function or do whatever logic you wanted to do also we could add like icons here mm, like if you want to add like a little home icon you want to google it let's, let's google one i'm gonna add one so you know other than that you gotta it's your homework to add the second one Okay, let me Google, where's my idea? Home icon. You could add as many as you want, it's up to you. Play with it, learn how to... You add a second one, I'm not, go I'm not going definitely. It's for your own learning. I had to do learn a lot of this on my own. So let me see, which home icon do I want? Let me take this one. Sometimes the size is not even... Let me see if I could get like a little small size. Color type, no PNG, blah, blah, blah. Let's get the Instagram, probably it's a little small. Let me see. Yeah, let's get that Instagram. You could get whatever you want, it's up to you. My home icon, I'm gonna name it, something simple. Let me just copy since now, I know. Download, boom. 
yeah close this let me go to my downloads oh yeah I have to go to the assets folder home icon drag it boom it's there you might think why says 1x 2x 3x those are points those are size like maybe we could create an icon if this doesn't work right I'm going to create the icon 3x but you have the I have a program to do it and I don't remember if that one's free or I pay for both of them I had two different ones can't remember sorry a long time ago and oh yeah we want the top bar and then we will like okay in the home right image you could be like name image right and then and boom home icon let's see what happens what's wrong Ah, oh, don't tell me this is being optional. Okay, let's do it differently. I'm not gonna deal with them. Be like that image. You see, oh yeah, you could also get image. I forgot this. If you be like that, let me see. We don't have a home image, right? But we have like a check mark right here. I totally forgot about that part. So you could do so some like there's a lot of features that as you keep building and do the stuff. Like you see how you get a check mark. And then here you get nothing because but make sure to try to add your icon and then we like in it with edit or results and this type of oh you see the image is super big holy cow That was the image that I that I got from Instagram. It's huge. God. Okay, if we got a repo. Ho hopefully you got a like a smaller one. You got an icon and I'll be like, okay, um I um check this software, it's called Prepo. I think it's free in the app store. I can remember. Boom, this gives me a bunch of different icons, but I don't want that only. Oh, this is like where you create all the icons from the for the app. I don't want that. I think it's here. But I want this to see the original 3x. If I click there, I don't want it. Okay. Come on. This thing sometimes it kind of freezes, piss me off. Okay, now it's working, right? Okay, up to 3x. I don't want the icon so big. Sorry, I'm, gonna, I'm showing you all the way that, the way that I do things, like even how I do it on my job. So when you have a question, you use like um, iOS tab bar icon you see this i even icon generator so don't even buy one let's see i told you this like some team some things there oh let me see if this is a good one sometimes for some you have to pay some are for free let's see what you get because i will kind of look for the eye um for the size you see you could probably get it here like tap bar icon you could be like home home icon see okay let's see let's download this one it says 24 picks yeah you want something small I don't download let's see what happens you see maybe you got something for free so you don't have to buy this thing there's a lot of tools I had to buy it before when I started like programming and doing all this years ago you didn't have all these crazy nice tools like you do now which is great. So let's try to let me see this downloader. Yeah, I'm gonna keep the same name. You could rename it, but I want to keep the same name to see what I get. Yeah, that's that one's huge. Oh, you could delete it. You could just like right click and delete select uh, select an item, or you just press that delete item and that's it. Okay, do image little resource boom and then boom copy and paste the name let's see what happens now audio was huge ONG oh, 
you see it's very nice so you could look for one for contact as well so um, right here in the icons dot eight you could go there see you could get populars and mess around with it try to change the icon add more view controllers to your stack right here uh, let's try to do another one thing and I'm, I want to be gone top bar the mm. selected item then color equal to red let me see it's like when you select the one is selected and when it's not Oh, this was deprecating. That's why. You see? Mm. Okay, if this was deprecating, um, okay. Deprecating means that um, Apple like stop using this. You know, I mean, you could still use it, but you're gonna get warnings and all that means that Apple have a new API so let's like select it I don't probably that thin color mm. in the background oh, does it have the dash. Dash. no so that this the, the badge is like if you want to add a one or two there mm. trying to see like bar on select the bar Thin color. If it's unselected, okay. Let's see if what it does. Let's put blue or black, whatever for this. Because he has selected is um deprecated, but unselected is good. Um, put, put red. I want to see this behavior. Sometimes I like to use colors like that, so I know. You see, this is not even doing anything at all. Earlier, it's the unselected, so this sh when it's here, this should be red. Whatever. I think this is doing nothing. Or because of the appearance. Um, maybe. Top bar. The selected item. The put it here. Oh. Sometimes I need to get used to this. Apple just started putting this um appearance and stuff and honestly I definitely let me delete this just so I don't create any confusion. This thing is just like okay, this is blue. Mm, what I, I have red. This is selection indicator tint color. I put red and this gives me blue. This is a a nice little mess. Mm -hmm. Shadow selection indicator. Think the color apply the selection indicator, right? No. And just to turn that this background color, I want to color. Let me read a little bit about this. The thin color to apply to the selection indicator image. Wow, blue with red, right? If I put purple, what should I get? Probably get um red, I don't know. Maybe the maybe Apple still has a few bugs with them, I don't know. But at least you saw that it could change and that I mean Anyways, whatever, I think you could still, let me just delete a few things. Um, then let me, let me delete this. I want to try, I want to try one last thing and that's it. I'm gone, children's. I don't position in. By the position of the end, the I don't want to. I want it to be center. You could put automatic, and I think it left, right, whatever. 
Let's see how center looks. I think it looks more towards the center. Like you always gonna keep the items more like to the center. If you add more, it's not gonna be like all spread around. And if you you could switch back and forward. So I'm gonna leave it right here. I think this video is super long, like an hour or something. So I'm um, trying to play around with this um, homework. Create another view controller, right? Create another view controller. Um, let me see. I'm gonna um, just create another. Create a profile profile view controller. Okay. Remember, create a profile view controller. Add it to the here, right? Create. Come when you create it, change the background color to whatever another color. So you you know there's three. Basically one, two, and then you got another one, three. If you add it to here, it'll be more towards here. If you add it in the middle, like another comma, and then you put it here in the middle, then it's gonna be in the middle. And if you add it here, that's last comma, then you add it to the last, it's gonna be here the last. So put a profile controller, whatever you wanna put it, or whatever controller that you want to create, uh, create a template, um, get an icon, and yeah. So let's see on the next, uh, let me see. Yeah, let's let's work on profile view controller. So whenever we click here, it's going to present boom another view, and it's gonna show you the avatar image and the name, and you probably want to add a bunch of information at the bottom. So you already know. Take care. Subscribe if you like the video. Like it. Share it. And remember, this is Swift for beginner, hundred percent.